Okay, y'all, it cut off, but that's fine because what I was working on was making sure that I got all these little odds and ends, the little uh, meals, and then the little um, TV or YouTube. And then I went ahead and did the background washi here so that I could put on the half boxes. So I'm going to go ahead and finish that up for you. Uh, where are we? There's the washi. Look, we have very little washi left. So the good use of these is you can use these to break up areas that look like they need a little something something. So I did every other one with the um, kind of background floral washi and now I'm going to use these solid washi, I mean um, half boxes, sorry. And so um, on this one, I think I'm going to use the pink because it kind of goes with that pinkiness up there. And I try to line these up as good as possible with each other and make sure that the washi um, does its job where it, um, you know, kind of covers the edges so you can get most of this right. Ah! A skint! I hate that! I just hate that. Alright, and then we can use, let's see, this nutmeggy color. I love, I love this color. It's like a dark mustard. It's just beautiful, y'all. She did such a good job on her selection of colors for this kit. And then uh, the orange. And that matches up just right because look at the orange of the pumpkins. That's just perfect. I just love this. I'm going to have such a good time this week. So when people ask me, that was what I was talking about, why do you spend the money on stickers? Why do you, oops, that one wasn't straight. It's very hard when you pull these off, by the way. To not pull the color off the other side. So try to get that and pull this over a little bit. As straight as you can when it first go down. There. Same thing here. Ah, oh, y'all. Does this happen to y'all? Do y'all just like put things down and they're not straight and you have to keep picking them back, lifting them back up? I do. <laughs> so I just thought it'd be best to let y'all see me do that so that if y'all do that, you don't feel like, gosh, she always gets it perfect. It's like, no, no, I don't. Um,. And I just realized over here, I did the same thing. So I'm sorry. I'm going to pull this up and straighten it up. It is hard if you don't have a camera overhead, y'all. And even if you do, I'm just, you know, we're not perfect people in this world. And you may not get it straight every time. And this one was a little high because I did it last. I mean, actually I did it first. <laughs> and therefore, it's a little too high. So I'm going to straighten these up. So while I'm talking to you, the answer to the question, when people say, why do you spend this much money? Because, you know, these are $12 to $20 a kit. And usually you get what you pay for. So the ones that are, um, they cost a little more are the ones that give you all this extra. You know, like, you know, the bottom washing, the lots of little filler stuff. And they're usually a little bit more. So why do you do it? It's because of the way I feel when I'm working on this during the week. I just really love planning because it's so pretty to look at. To some people, they could care less. And for them, have that a plain old planner. You do that. You go for it. But for me, I do love doing this. So, all right. So remember I told you I like to put the scripture of the week on at the top up here. And I could just use the thankful uh, thought box get a little closer to that so y'all can see it um but no <laughs> so i'm going to go ahead and put some background washi up here we purposely have saved it for up here trying to line it up the best i can and then i want to use this little you know excitement of the week kind of movie thing because I doubt we'll be going to a movie this week. If we do, I'll just use something different. But I'm going to use that for my scripture of the week because that excites me and it's my planner. Okay, and then I'm going to decide in a minute what, um, let's see, what is the first day of the week? So it's going to be the 18th. So I like to pull out my, um, this is my desktop version of my daily devotional and it is Jesus Calling by Sarah Young. And this, usually you get the little one. And when I do a giveaway, a spiritual giveaway, where I give away a Bible and a devotion, I generally give away this one, this size. And this is um, called Jesus Always. And it was her second one. It says, author of Jesus Calling. See? 
And the difference is this is smaller, so you could keep it, you know, in your purse with you or whatever, or, you know, a car or whatever. And it's usually a paragraph or two in the scriptures, and you look them up. It just gives you time to think. It's written as if God is talking to you. Jesus is talking to you. So it's written in that style. The difference in the desk version is it has the scriptures, because it's larger paper, um, it has the scriptures actually written out, which that can be plus and minus. The plus of it is you don't have to go look it up if you're in a hurry. The minus is you shouldn't be in a hurry, and you want to open your Bible if you're doing a Bible study. But anyway, so September 18th, um, that will be Monday. Seek to please me above all else. Let that be your... Um, let that goal, when I'm listing all my goals, be your focal point as you go through this day. Such a mindset will protect you from scattering your energy to the winds. The free will I bestowed on you comes with an awesome responsibility. Each day presents you with a choice after choice. Many of the decisions you ignore and thus make default. Without a focal point to guide you, you can easily lose your way. That's why it's so important to stay in communication with me, living in thankfulness, thankful awareness of my presence. You inhabit a fallen, disjointed world where things are constantly unraveling around the edges. Only a vibrant relationship with me can keep you from coming unraveling too. Unraveled too. That's, oh my gosh, that's a great way to start off the week. Um, so here's the scriptures listed. Let's see which one we'll choose. Uh, but seek first his kingdom and his righteousness and all these things will be added unto you as well or given unto you as well. The one who sent me is with me. He has not left me alone, for I always do what pleases him. That's what Jesus was talking about when he talked about the Father had sent him. Uh, of course, it was an agreement. Jesus didn't have to come. Uh, by an act of his own free will, he came to save us. Um, whatever you do, work at it with all of your heart as if working for the Lord, not for men, since you know that you will receive an inheritance from the Lord as a reward. It is Christ you are serving. Oh my gosh, I love that one. I love all three of them. Which one, y'all? Which one? Matthew, John, or Colossians. I think I'm going to choose the Colossians 3, 23, and 24. And what all that does is when I write that in, y'all, it reminds me either to go back. If there's enough room, I'll write it out. Sometimes I'll make it, you know, a bigger section here and write it out. So what was that? Colossians. I used cursive last time, so we're going to use block letters this time. 3, 23, 24. 3, 23, and 24. And, you know, like last week, you know, you can just make it fun looking like last week. Remember, I did kind of a cursive um, half circle with the word Isaiah and then the, made the numbers bigger. And sometimes it's just tiny there. I used the, um, this was the glam planner, but I used this one, again, the movie thing. That, I just used a box because it was provided. So just, you know, however you want to do it. Um, I may, I think I'm actually going to use black this week, but I was going to go get a brown marker, but then you wouldn't see the brown in here that well. And I thought about getting a burgundy marker, the same thing. On the dark backgrounds like this, it would be very hard to see your writing. So I may just use black because black's easy. I'm using it at work anyway. Um, but anyway, so now is the fun part. We have got all the work done. We're getting this planner laid out. Let me zone in a little. Oops. And um, now I want to use some of these beautiful decorative pieces. So first of all, I want to use the weekends. And I love, as y'all know, I absolutely love this mustard color. I just think it's so pretty. Oh, look how she does little tapes instead of little tacks or little hearts. That is really a cute touch. Gotta have a plan, girl. What was her name? Did she put her name on her sticker? Um, No, she put my name. Um, I could use the orange, though, y'all. Because, see, that would be too matchy to put that next to Littles. I may put it on both. So that's what I'll do. I'll put the weekend down here. Right there. The K is the middle. So I'm going to put... Oops, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Oh, I hate when I get so close that it puts it down. There. I want to get it just... But, ah! Did you see that? Oh, my gosh. Y'all, I hope this does not tear off any of this pretties. Go very slowly. All right, I'm going to hold this up. <laughs> I'm such a spaz. All right, I'm going to hold this up and not do that again. Right above the line is where I want. And I do want to overlap on the planner right there. That's cute to me. And look where these little stickies end up. Oh, that is so cute. I love it. I absolutely love it. Okay, but just because weekend's down there, I want to put the orange one up here. Because this pattern isn't, 
uh, it's not, not like a picture where as if you put it across a picture box. I mean, it will go across this um, pumpkin, but not that bad. All right, so I'm sorry I have to do this sideways, y'all, but I have to get that case centered and not mess up. There. So cute, so cute, and so cute. I love it. Thanks for the two weekend boxes. That's so cute. I absolutely love it. All right, now we can use some of these little fun things. So I've already put the planner one down, and that's really pretty for fall as well. But you know what I might do? I could put two plans down, but I do want to put my Bible study thing down, and I'm pretty sure it does start next week. So again, I got this from Sweet Kwai Design, and I'm going to choose one of the little ones. Um, I also do a Saturday morning one, so I may put that one up here and then this little one down there. And I think they both start back next week, and I teach both of them. <laughs> Talk about putting too much in your basket, but that's okay. I love to teach the Word of God. All right, so um, you will be able to use these throughout the week. So i got to uh, make a nail appointment, so I'll put that on when I do my nail appointment and probably run it through down here on the odds and ends down here. And then, um, hold on, where's her other page? Not that one, this one. Um trash day is Tuesday so I'm going to go ahead and take off the little trash can and I like to change the sheets on Saturdays so I'm going to go ahead and put the little trash can by Tuesday there's him and um, I don't know when the cleaning lady's coming I can't remember let me look back she came where'd she come last time see how it's helpful I didn't put it on there when did she come? When is the cleaning lady? When did she come? I don't say cleaning lady. It was Tuesday. So, yes. Is she coming on Tuesdays now? I need to talk to my husband. When did that... Oh, you know what? It probably was because of hurricane stuff and all that kind of weather issue. So, I will have to find that out. But then I will put... Where is it? She has like a little cleaning icon somewhere. Where is it? I know she has one. No? Well, I've got other little side washies for that anyway, so that's fine. 